Tonight, I want to show you what the Davis School District and the Davis Education Foundation have done to address hunger, homelessness, and hopelessness in the Davis County Schools. The Super Bowl of Caring helped a history teacher named Dave Sider open the district's first small pantry at Northridge High. That led to larger pantries and the ability to address hunger. It encouraged Jody Lunt at the foundation to begin to address the issues of hygiene and housing. Jody will give us a tour of their teen centers and she'll tell you the impact it's had on graduation rates. Northridge's principal is watching the students who used to drop out, now they flourish. And your donations are a critical piece of the puzzle. And so is a Northridge High alum who understands what these students go through every day. Well, I actually graduated from here 30 years ago. I was part of the first full graduating class and I was one of the kids that could have used this space and I came home to make sure that kids like me were taken care of. She can empathize and she can understand because she, at some point she walked in their shoes and, and that, that is so uh, critical when you're dealing with youth, right? You have to be able to relate in some capacity to their experience to truly help them. Oh yeah, I could have totally used this. Yeah, and we you did. You personally it. could have used it. You think? Oh yeah, like I was one of the kids that would have used this space, but was too scared to admit that to teachers and administrators. They didn't know that that was my life. So I literally came back here because this is like a full circle thing for me. Wow. So, yeah. Wow. Pretty powerful emotionally yeah. for you. Oh yes. Oh yeah, they know that I'll cry like any day on command. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I love these kids. I know their story, I feel their story, and it, it was my story, so it's very um, personal to me. How big a difference do you think this makes in their lives? It's huge, and it's not even that it's become something that is just like, oh yeah, that's the food pantry. They just know that they can come here, and, and it's not even a, can I, can I get food? Can I get something or anything to be embarrassed about? I mean, it takes them, it takes them a bit, right? But I have kids who come in here every single day and they know, pull out the bag that we use and they can walk out the back door and get on the bus and it's not even, it's not even a thing. Like, it's, it's groundbreaking that this is here and it's utilized every single day. This place is what started the entire social initiative that we have in Davis School District. And it worked because it was internal. It started because a teacher, Dave Sider, came to the foundation and said, I need a food pantry. Our kids need this. We're struggling with food insecurity. And because it was a within community event, it grew from a closet that we had down the hallway to a full-blown community can pantry. For so you knew Dave Sider. Yes, as a teacher, he was the history teacher that everybody wanted. <laughs> but yes. that was before he started the pantry? That was before he started the pantry. They started that in 2017, and I wasn't here yet. I was working at a Title I elementary school, and it was huge news when they, when they did that, and it was kind of groundbreaking to put it in the school and so needed here. Northridge was the place to do it. Well, welcome to the Northridge High School Teen Center. We're excited to have you as our guest here today. When did you open this? This opened in August of 22, and since then we have seven operational centers, two more that are being built and will be opened this year, and then two Harder next year. Yeah. There is a great reception area where they are greeted and their needs are assessed. And depending on what they need, whether it is food, clothing, uh, hygiene essentials, study needs, they are then directed to the different portions of the center. We always have in each one of our centers a place for young people to uh, be able to get their food needs met. We have microwave, refrigerator, all of the cabinetry is open and like it's a home. You uh, open up, take care of what you need, and we really live in the theory of abundance. So if you need it, you take it, and it will always be available for you. Do you know how many students you're feeding in a week or in a month? On average, 50 to 60 students go through the centers. Our data from the first uh, quarter from this year, more than 3,600 individual students visited our centers. Wow. don't think a lot of people think there's that much poverty in the Davis School District. I think it's a silent and pervasive problem that we have around the state. State numbers show 15,000 students are experiencing housing insecurity. And with housing insecurity comes a very obvious, which is food insecurity. And so our young people are facing really quite simple and basic problems that are compounded. Laundry, for instance. Laundry, for instance. 
being clean, uh, being, uh, being able to be present and socially accepted in your setting. So every one of the facilities has a set of uh, laundry. We have three of them here. Young people will schedule time to use these, and we have great coordinators that if the young people will put it in, they oftentimes will turn it and then place it in their locker for them so that it keeps the discretion and the dignity which is important to each of our students so that as they are they can come and pick that up before or after school and take care of their needs. From food to laundry to showers it sounds the hygiene piece, the food piece, it sounds like the mental health piece to all of this is really important. Absolutely. The most important piece of any of these centers is the caring adult. I love Josh Ship's quote that Every kid is one caring adult away from a success story. These are their individual personal hygiene rooms. Uh, students schedule the time that they need to do. Some of our young people actually schedule a class period. Once again, I want you to note that the cabinets aren't locked. Mm -hmm. And we live in abundance, just as your bathroom is. Whatever shampoo that you might need, what, whatever hygiene needs you need, you open, you take, you use, and you have the confidence to know that when you come tomorrow, it'll be there again. For people who watch this and say, this isn't what our school should be doing, it should be about reading, writing, and arithmetic, you would say... This is about reading, writing, and arithmetic, because if your basic needs aren't met, if you're cold, if you're hungry, if you're unsafe, if you're dirty and you don't socially feel that this is a place for you, learning will never be an outcome. If we want to maximize these students and they are resilient and brilliant, the most important thing we do is we ensure, just as we do with our own children, that they are safe, clean, fed, and we say in, in Davis School District, ready to put learning first. If a student's basic needs are not being met, uh, food, shelter, sleeping, warmth, it's pretty impossible to ask them to write their paper in English class, right, to, uh, to get here on time, to be successful. So there, there's this direct correlation that we've seen students success rise when their basic needs are being met. And we, we've had some amazing stories of their needs get met, they start to succeed, all of a sudden they're interested in college. We help them fill out college applications and uh, I just get excited talking about it. Uh, and, and they come in and they get accepted to, you know, to one of our local universities and it would have never happened without this center and the people involved in it. I'd love to thank the, thank the community uh, for making it happen here, thank the communities and those that have donated to make it happen through Davis District. Uh, we've had a lot of visitors throughout the state, different districts, to look at this. I know, I know the legislature is, you know, has been looking at ways to, to make it uh, possible and fund it, and I would, just, I would just say in any way that we can have every school have a place like this, it's, it's a big deal. If we care about our kids and our kids' success, uh, every school needs a place like this. A remarkable 10 years in the Davis School District from no pantries to teen centers complete with laundry, shower facilities, and expanded pantries.